This week's project is on the history of science. Darlet is considered to be the first person who followed the scientific modes. He lived in Miletus, in Asia Minor, in 624 to 546 BCE. He was different because for the first time he can explain that the weather no need mythological details. He is also famous for having predicted eclipses, and he became one of the seven easiest of weeks. Democritus continued the scientific method by Thales. He was born in 416 BCE. Uh, in Abdera. He was called the louting philosopher because he taught all human behavior to ridiculous. He was the first person to propose the theory of atoms. His theory was finally correct in the 19th century by John Dalton, who had the benefit of the microscope, which hadn't been in existence in democratic times. Hypatia was the last of the great scientists in the ancient world. She worked in a library of Alexandria. In those times, it was the most important place of science, which contained all the knowledge of the ancient world. As times were changing, the Christians became a more powerful in the city, and they considered in the heretical that a woman should be independent and educated as well as a leader of teacher of men. The library was born and almost all of the achievements was classical, was classical civilization was lost. She became a martyr to science when she was brutally murdered in public. Science will be forgotten and as a consequence Europe experience and a period known as the Dark Ages, which lasted for a thousand years. Leonardo was born in Vinci, a village near Florence. He was an inventor, a scientist and, a, and an artist. Leonardo is considered a one of the along others in the rebirth of, of science after the death of science because the death of Aitia. Da Vinci created the ideas for a lot of important objects for us, for example, the tank and the, the helicopter into other inven inventions. He wrote ba backwards because he wrote with his hand, which was more easy for him. Another reason is that he, he was never corrected uh, and he called uh, he called write with the right arm too. He can read books because he didn't know Latin, so he had to use observation to understand the world. Leonardo wanted to fly. He always thought that in the future people will fly. He said, "If you can, if you can imagine it, you can make it." Nicholas Copernicus was born in Poland in 1473. In his times, scholars still continued to believe the geocentric theory of the solar system that had been proposed by Claudius Ptolemy in ancient Alexandria. That is, until Copernicus's book on the revolutions of the spheres came out just before his death in 1543. It was a major event in the history of science that would influence others like Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galiletti was born in 1633 in Italy. He was a physicist 
mathematician, philosopher and astronomer. Galileo had published a little book of scientific discoveries he had made thanks in part of the invention of the telescope. The most important new ideas was heliocentrism, which is the most uh, which is the most astronomical theory that the sun is the center of the universe and that other planets revolve around it. Galileo died in 1642. In 1992, the Catholic Church officially recognized Galileo's views and issued an apology for mistakes made in the past. Galileo was proved right in the end and is today considered a symbol of intellectual freedom.